Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel for the second time on the day. I didn't even change shirts, man. Same shirt, let's freaking go. Anyway, this is Team of the Year preparation video number three, and we're talking about SBCs and SBC fodder because Team of the Year is a massive time on the game. It's also one of the times where we get some of the best SBC content that we see all year year long with of course upgrade packs that are out we're trying to pack team of the year cards and that allows us to craft and complete other sbcs that are out in the game like icon pack sbcs which we got yesterday that's already in the game and of course numerous flashbacks um you know they have done like team of the year moments from years past like if you guys remember the gareth bale uh but player moments sbcs and you know um end of an era Rooney, you know, end of an era cards, they might be throwing out special SBC challenge. Like there could be anything and everything during team of the year. So I want I specifically SBC fodder and actually league SBCs as well. I want to touch on those for a bit, as we already have mentioned a little bit earlier in the week, but I want to look into those again as well. So we're going to be talking about the SBC fodder section of the market, which we already had some content released in yesterday on Tuesday, kind of a preface to team of the year with the uh, base or mid icon upgrade, which was released yesterday in FIFA as a uh, SBC that's out for 30 days, I believe. This thing's out for a long time, man. And honestly, what it is, is this is just an SBC that EA is putting out to sit here during team of the year. That will be something you can craft and use your fodder in as we go out this team of the year promotion. Now there's gonna be other SBCs like player cards and stuff like that that we'll be able to craft, but an SBC like this is gonna make uh, the SBC fodder market move. Uh, and I wanna take a look at last year because I feel like last year, of course, um, it's gonna be s sort of similar to this year. Although we might see more SBC market fluctuations because there's just more and more SBCs that are put out every year. There was a huge buy time for SBC fodder last year on FIFA during team of the year and a huge explosion in price. And I want to talk about why that happened and how I think it could happen again this year. Um, but you'll be able to swing trade SBC fodder throughout the week as well. So again, Last year in FIFA, we had tons of, we had an Icon SBC that was repeatable that was out. We had Flashback David Luiz, Player Moments Bernardo Silva, among many other. I think we had like a Flashback Zlatan as well that came out last year around the Team of the Year time period. And I want to show you some graphs, and it's very similar looking between a lot of these cards to see what happened last year because of Team of the Year. And also kind of talk through where card prices are at right now, where I think they could go to, whether that's up or down. And also picking like the best return on investment in terms of which rating, whether it be 84s, 86s, 88s, somewhere in between, what rating is like the best to invest in around this team of the year time frame. So we're going to start with the lower tier ratings, 84 rated cars, right? Right now, 84 rated. That's last year, Aspiliqueta. 84 rated right now in FIFA are like seven to 8,000 coins. They're up a little bit. And if we take a look at some of these graphs, you can tell that this stuff has been on the rise recently, right? Coman used to be 3,900 coins, but now as we have more and more SBCs out in the game, these cards have started to go up with Icon SBCs and stuff like that, Player of the Month. This Coman card was 9,000 coins, 10,000 coins last week on Wednesday when that Icon SBC released. It's since been down towards the AK range, but I wouldn't consider this to be low, right? We take a look at 84s, and yes, earlier in the year, they were 4,000 coins. They're probably not ever going to get to that range again since we have more and more SBCs come out during the year. But let's take a look and show you what happened to 84s last year in FIFA. Aspiliqueta and Jerome Boateng are, are our two examples. Take a look at this. Jerome, oh, this is Aspiliqueta. Uh, at the start of Team of the Year, January 6th last year on a Monday. So last year, Team of the Year went from Monday the 6th until uh, basically a week after that. So like Sunday or Monday the, the 12th or 13th is when it ended. But as you can see, SBC Fodder was up a little bit, 7,000 coins. And then with all the packs after the first uh, day of Team of the Year on that Monday, this Aspiliqueta dropped from about 8,500 coins, 95 on the Xbox, down to... 6,800 and 7,500 on respective consoles. And then look what happens the week after. He goes from 6.8K on Sunday of Team of the Year all the way up to 15,000 coins and basically extinct the week after that. What a crazy rise on an 84 rated right back. Good, of course, for SBCs with the links, right? So he might not have been the cheapest 84 rated on the market, of course, because of his links. 
his use in SBCs, but look at this skyrocket after team of the year. The same thing happened with Jerome Boateng, right? He started as a, uh, you know, team of the year time period, like 6,800 coins. He drops down to 5,100 coins on that same weekend and explodes. You know, a couple weeks later, hits a peak of 8,800 coins. He's up to the high 8,000 range, 9,000 range on the Xbox. Now, of course, you're like, wow. Aspilicueta went from 70, 6,800, like 7,000 coins, and he over then doubled his price. Jerome Boateng only went from 5,000 coins to 8,000 coins. He didn't have his greater return on investment, right? One thing to keep in mind is that the outside players, center backs this year as well, do are doing incredibly well in terms of SBC fodder for moving up in price percentage-wise. But take a look, right? We've had SBCs this year, right? Go inside of these uh, cheapest players by rating page on Footbin. I'll put the link to this page down in the description of the video. But take a look at these cards and, see, and figure out which ones move the most, right? David Alaba is 12,000 coins right now. is an 84 rated card. What's he been at as a low? He's been at, you know, 10,000 coins, you know, 10K, but he's been up to heights of, you know, 13, 14,000 coins, kind of closer to where he is now. Um, when you're looking at these graphs from this year in FIFA, look at the center backs look at a lot of these cards that are some of the most expensive 84s because the technically the more you pay the the more that that means people are paying for these cards anyway or yards ball 9.5k if an sbc requires left wings look at this guy he was 13k at one point this year went down to about 8,000 coins now he's back up to 9,500 right so what i want you guys to watch for on these 84 rated especially is a drop off because of the amount of packs that are going to be opened in the next few days as we have friday that comes out right even though there will be sbcs that will be dropped during team of the year people aren't you know really working away at a ton of those sbcs until you know maybe a couple days in actually uh because People are worried about upgrade packs. They're worried about the market, trying to pack team of the years. And then afterwards, when team of the years go out of packs and when they're done grinding the upgrade packs and stuff like that, that's when they look towards, okay, let me try to complete these SBCs. And again, I want to kind of explain why you see such a huge rebound after team of the year last year. Because basically what happens is everybody is grinding upgrade packs where they're packing guys like in Diddy, you know, they're packing 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, and they're doing SBCs and they're opening tradable packs and, and everything, right? It's all about grinding packs, trying to get team of the years. After that, though, you still have SBCs in the SBC section that are still there, and people have all these coins after opening lightning rounds, after opening saved up packs after team of the year. People have a lot of coins. There's a lot of SBCs that are still out in the game that are lingering after team of the year, right? Whatever flashback SBCs we get, whatever, um, maybe if we get a team of the year nominee sort of SBC, or, uh, of course, the Icon upgrade that we looked at. Kind of like we had that Roberto Firmino freeze card that stayed in the game for like 20 days. The SBCs that we will see during the team of the year will probably have longer duration periods where you can complete them in FIFA in this ultimate team and be able to do them after team of the year. But, of course, once team of the year is over, your supply on those packs and those upgrade packs stops. So you have people that have clubs halfway full of 83s 84s and 85s or half finished sbcs or just enough fodder in their club to get half of an icon pack done they want to go finish that icon pack they have coins to do it that they just got from team of the year with packs that were opened and stuff like that so what they do is they go out and they buy sbc fodder and that's why you see crazy crazy rebounds on these cards like this because of desirable sbcs repeatable sbcs and the lack of supply after team of the year ends. That's why you see massive, massive rises after team of the year last year. This was literally, if you look at Aspiliqueta, his biggest rise of the entire year was last year after that team of the year promotion, right? And what promotion are we gonna have right after this? Possibly future stars, right? That's another big promo where SBCs have been good and there's been a lot of hype cards that have come out during that period as well. That's why you see this stuff really go up in price because the, the amount of coins that are on the market and of course the lack of supply that we had during team of the year. And as these guys get turned and turned more into SBCs and into SBCs, um, they of course have less supply. So that's why I really like the high quality good cards with good links 
and good nations that we always talk about, like this Coleman left wing card, even in Diddy as a CDM, we looked at Alaba, even, even though you're going to pay a little bit more per card, like you might be buying Alaba's during landing rounds at 9,000 coins when you could buy Corona's at 6k, but your Corona might have a cap or, you know, it might only go up to about 9,000 coins, right? So it might go up 3k, but your David Alaba card might go up to like 15, 16. I don't know what his price range is, but it could go up even further. So you have a higher ceiling and you know, for the cards, EA likes to do SBCs these days with a lot of chemistry. So that bodes well for center backs, right backs, right wings, left wings, and center mids from popular leagues, popular nations. The cards that go up this year in FIFA, if you look through some of these 84s and for all the ratings we're gonna talk about, if you look through the ratings and you see which cards bounce around the most, those are gonna be the ones that you wanna buy because that's gonna be the ones needed for those high chemistry SBC. So we looked at 84s, let's look at 86s. We're gonna look at Bonucci and Muller, right? Muller was always one of the cheapest 86s. Bonucci was a bit more expensive because of his links, right? What happened last year with these guys? Same kind of situation. Drops down to 13, 14,000 coins and rebounds to 20,000 coins the week after team of the year ends. Literally 10 days later, he is almost doubled in price for this Bonucci card. What about Thomas Muller? Thomas Muller was down at 14K and also rose to about 20,000 coins last year. Now, SBC fodder is more expensive this year. 86 is, right? Right now, they're 20. Two, 23,000 coins, somewhere at 24, 25K. These guys are not going to be 14,000 coins, right? Thomas Muller this year is an 86 rated card is not going to be 14K during team of the year. There's just too many SBCs out and people have too many coins this year. It's raising the SBC fodder market. Now, could this guy be down at like 18,000 coins? Yeah, it's possible, right? It could be down, it could drop to 20,000 coins, but I don't think you're going to see prices for the 86s, even the 84s like we were looking at. I don't think you're going to see drop-offs to where these guys go below, um, you know, where they were like before December. Like, I don't think you're going to see 86s again at 14, 15K. I just think with the amount of SBCs on the market and with the amount of coins in this game, these guys are just going to stay, continually stay high. Now, they could drop a bit after Maybe this promo, like in, in March or something, when the game kind of quiets down a bit and, and the game loses a bit of its hype. But with the SPCs we have out right now, especially if they do like party bags and stuff for future stars, these guys are just continue to go higher because people are willing to pay. That's one thing that I've learned in the past couple of years is that people are willing to pay just about anything for a sick SPC pack from EA, right? They're willing to pay just about anything to get a cool pack like a party bag or to finish an SBC, they just want that reward and they're willing to do almost anything to get there, right? So Muller would be a good buy this year. Again, Bonucci with a high rise um, or a high percentage point rise because of his links that he had during the team of the year time frame. So 86s are, are honestly, 86s have been some of the best to trade with like this year because their fluctuations are nuts, right? Verratti, uh, 25,000 coins. This dude was literally this guy goes between 23 and 25K, probably goes like 21 to 26 where you can actually flip him at. He goes th those ranges all the time. He was 22, 21,000 coins yesterday on Monday. Boom, SBCs come out. The guy's 25K and boom, he's up here right now. So I don't think I, don't think I would buy SBC fodder right now. But again, what we're looking at is we're looking at a buy time on some of this stuff as possibly um, later in the week during team of the year. Now it's still going to fluctuate during the week, but I think you'll still see it continue to go down. It might take a big hit on Friday and then continue to go down with a couple spikes here and there, depending on the content they put out, but we'll be seriously watching those prices. And I want to look at 84s one last minute as well. I know this is getting a little bit long. I want to look at 84s or 88s, sorry, because they rebounded pretty well to 88 David Silva, 26,000 coins during team of the year, rebounded up to 34,000. So honestly, if you're looking at a legit return on investment, 84s with incredible links might be some of your best buys. Um, now you have PK here, who during January went to 25,000 coins and then went back up to 36, 37K for a peak um, the week after. So in my mind, I think this year, the 86s are the ones that have been used the most. And if you think about 86s, is like the all round more versatile, right? You think about you know, from an 84 rated squad, you might use an 86. For an 88 rated squad and anywhere in between there, you might use an 86. So I really like the 85s. I like the 86s. 
even the 87s a little bit, right? We're going to be getting into team of the year time frame where they're probably going to require more of the 88 rated squads, 89 rated squads for the higher tier icons that they put out in this game. So well, I don't mind the higher rated stuff, but as you can see, like 89 Chiellini last year during team of the year went from 34,000 coins to 43. That's only 10K up, right? Some of the other cards went 10K up uh, that were lower rated and it cost less per card to buy them. Now, 91 Oblock is somebody I want to check on too. He went from 48K to 63K. So some of like the 91 rated cards that are in the game this year, those could be decent buys as well. Oblock, Lewandowski possibly out of packs. Allison, if he wins the team of the year. Ter Stegen, like the 90 and 91 rated cards, they have their place in this game too, just because those big time icon SBCs that do come out in this game. So that's a lot of the stuff that we're looking at for team of the year. Now, one thing I can guarantee you with SBC fodder is there's going to be SBCs. There's going to be lots of them. It's just going to be about timing when we see those cards dip and when we see them rebound during that time period. I think you will see again, if EA does play it like they did last year, you'll see a crazy rise on the SBC fodder um, after uh, team of the year. Now, if you bought SBC fodder earlier this week and you're still holding on to it, I would honestly recommend you could cash it, right? You could cash it right now because it is inflated. We just looked at that Verratti, who was 22,000 coins, 21,000 coins, and is now up to about 25,000 coins, right? That's a nice little profit right before team of the year starts because I expect a lot of this to go lower with all of the saved up packs being more packs this year than ever because team of the year is later. More packs than ever means more supply than ever. And I think you can watch these guys will go down during during team of the year. Yes, they'll bounce back at some point. We're going to be in for a major club stock opportunity with these cards later on during team of the year. So I just wanted to point out a lot of that stuff. I think you guys get the point. I think the point has been pushed across that it's a great time to buy SBC fodder and especially exiting the team of the year time frame. We should see a big rise on these cards, but they'll still fluctuate around during the promo because EA will release SBCs, but there's also just so much pack supply out there that you kind of have to be careful with it as well. Again, number one thing is good league, good nation, and look through again, go to this page. I'll put the link in the description of the video. As I said, look through these, right? Look through these cards, see which ones fluctuate the most. Even if you're paying an extra couple thousand coins per card, because it's just more expensive for that rating, that just means you might see more potential profit because it is needed for SBCs with higher chemistry. So that's the video today. Um, oh, sh shoot. I forgot to talk about League SBCs. One last thing. League SBC Silvers, right? If you have not looked into this, rewards tomorrow on Thursday and squad battle rewards on Sunday night. Um, if they haven't risen too much already, the one that comes to mind is West Brom, right? West Brom Silvers are like extinct on this game. They're so expensive. Uh, but look at silver cards from the league SBCs that are available in this game right now because they are going to rise in that team of the year time period as well because people just want to get packs and packs and more packs. So definitely keep an eye on these cards on days that we have supply. Marking matchups on Thursday with rewards could be a good time to do this as well. Um, it's just people probably are going to be holding packs from marquee matchups. So just watch the silvers. If you guys are familiar with the SBCs, it's a great time to get on these uh, because they should rise with less supply. Like packs are, that are open during team of the year don't have many silvers. It's all rare golds, right? So I think you'll see a lot of the league SBC stuff uh, go up in price as well during team of the year because people will be grinding those league SBCs for packs to try to pack a team of the year card. So that's what I wanted to touch on with league SBCs. But if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out at all, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace out.